In this video, developed as part of the PERFECT initiative supported by the Erasmus Plus program of the European Union, you will better understand the three-term contingency in ABA, antecedents, behaviors, and consequences, a fundamental concept in applied behavior analysis. The three-term contingency is used to teach new behaviors and to identify the function of the problem behavior replacing it with more socially appropriate behavior. The three-term contingency is used to focus the intervention and alter the environment to change behavior. Here is an illustration of the basic events involved in behavior change. A means antecedent, or what happens before the behavior. B means behavior, and that is the response. C means consequence, and that is what happens after behavior. Let us explain in more detail. Antecedent refers to the environmental conditions or stimulus changes that exist or occur prior to the behavior of interest. It is something that occurs immediately, zero to three minutes, before the behavior. We can think of them as a trigger. These antecedent events play a critical role in motivation and learning. Since an antecedent is any environmental change that comes before a behavior, anything can be an antecedent. For example, being asked to do a task, being told no, the bus pulling away, or being asked to leave the playground. When we know the antecedents that come before an undesired behavior, we can use that information to select strategies that may be used to prevent the problem behaviors from occurring. It is important to consider the following questions when you are trying to identify the antecedent or trigger for a challenging behavior. When does the behavior occur? What time of day? What happened? An instruction, event, or sensory input? Where did the behavior occur? What location? Who was present when the behavior happened? Answering these questions will provide more information about what happened and why. Sometimes people might say that a behavior occurred without a reason, However, we always ask questions about what the circumstances were before the behavior occurred, so we can identify any patterns. Once a pattern is identified, we are able to better understand what is maintaining the problem behavior. The central part of the applied behavior analysis, three-term contingency, is the behavior, or the response. This part includes the observable behavior of interest, and, as previously mentioned, behavior is any observable and measurable action that a person does. It is also of importance to note which behaviors are considered detrimental and need to be addressed. Behaviors such as tantruming, aggression, and noncompliance are easily recognized as disruptive and detrimental. Other behaviors which are passive in nature, such as inattention, not participating, and being off-task may not be disruptive, but nevertheless interfere with development. They are every bit as challenging and essential to address. Although they may not be as obvious, they can be equally, if not more, of an obstacle to development. Any behavior that impedes the learning process should be considered and targeted as detrimental. When we observe behavior, we have to ask concrete questions and write down the answers. What does it look like? It might be hitting, kicking, spitting, refusal, or asking for something. It is about asking what and who. When does it happen? How long did it last? Be specific, for example. This morning at 9, Peter kicked the front door with his left foot 10 times in one minute. Do not describe the behavior as a tantrum. He was behaving badly, not listening, or other vague descriptions. We hope you found our overview of understanding the three-term contingency in ABA, antecedents, behaviors, and consequences insightful. If you are eager for more insights, keep up with us by liking Perfect on Facebook and dive deeper into our resources at www.perfectproject.org.